All right, so I'm trying a different uh, video setting on my phone. So I usually use FHD, which is full HD, I think. Uh, and then in parentheses, it says 60 frames per second. And then below that is full HD, and then it doesn't say 60 frames per second. But I usually use the one that's 60 frames per second. And then right above that, which I guess is a higher, is a UHF. UHF? Yeah. And then above that is QHF. So I'm thinking QHF is the highest quality. So that's what I'm using right now. Um, which, you know, according to my settings, should be much higher quality than what I normally use. So let me know if you can tell a difference at all. Um, so this is for Maxwell. I have your Talon here. And it's all finished up. It's badass. I wish I could fly it, but unfortunately, I don't have a Spectrum radio anymore. Um, I really like these end caps here that go over the arm, the ends of the arms. Pretty awesome. Because um, before, they were just completely exposed, you know. And of course, in a crash, these, those are going to get all dinged up. And who knows if they would even snap off, too, because, you know, it's just a little piece of carbon right here. But it seems pretty tough. And it's really nice to have that TPU over it. And, of course, you're... Uh, dampening the vibrations from the screws as well uh, you got your f40 version 3s on here they're uh, 2600 kV f43 uh, you got your dys stack in here with the f4 pro v2 and the 30 amp 4 in 1 um, you got your unify pro right here and you can get to the button right there, no problem. I can even hit it with my finger, no problem. Um, you got your Spectrum Diversity Telemetry Receiver. And I do have the wires and everything set up for getting your voltage readout and uh, RSSI and all that. Uh, here's the bind plug right here. So when you first get it, you're going to plug in the battery and you're going to see the uh, light on the receiver flashing fast. So that's when you want to bind it to your radio. Then when it's bound, unplug the battery, pull this bind plug out, tuck this wire in side, and then uh, next time you plug in your battery, it'll just be bound up to your radio every time. But you always, from then on, you always want to turn your radio on first, wait a few seconds, and then plug the quad in so that it gets a good bind. Um... It might be kind of a pain in the ass to pull this out too. I've noticed that it was really hard to push it in. You might want to grab like a pair of pliers to hold onto it or something. Let me see how hard it is. It's nice having this loop in here, but that's also the wires that are connecting it. So it's not really something to pull on. It's just freaking in there. Okay, yeah, a pair of pliers, no problem. It'll come right out. Okay, cool. So, uh, oh, and the uh, Eagle 2. Yeah, awesome camera. Um, let me make sure the video is working. I don't think I've checked that. I lost my damn SD card the other day. I I don't know why, but I only have one. I had one SD card for my goggles. And I've been using it forever. And, and that's what I use for all my videos on YouTube. And I freaking took it out of my goggles the other day and set it down somewhere. And it just vanished. Just completely gone. So I had to order a new one. Finally got it yesterday. Okay, so right now it is on, looks like F7, and all the OSD stuff's on, so you can set that up however you like it. 
But you can see <laughs> there's tons of stuff all over the screen. The video looks excellent. And again, that's F7 that it's on. 91%. All right, so there's a couple other things to show you. Uh, I sent you a picture of what it looks like with the GoPro mount on it, but I'm not leaving it on there. You can put it on. It's very simple to put it on. And here it is. And this is the newer version of the old one that I used to, that I've seen. Uh, it has ratcheting in here, so you can set it to whatever angle you want. If you push it real hard, you can set it to any angle, which is pretty awesome. And it stays. It'll stay. It's in there real tight. Yeah. So that's awesome. And then it just clips into the top plate. Like these two will just slide into that top piece. And then you take the standoff off and you slide it into here. Uh, and then you just stick it in there and screw it back in. Pretty awesome. And then you also have the uh, manual for the receiver, pretty thick manual. Uh, you got your manual for the ESCs and I'll get the one for the flight controller too. You got a spare bracket and back plate for the Eagle 2. You got the uh, controller for the camera, battery strap, some stickers. Uh, this was from the 4-in-1 I think. And then you got these two that you can uh, stick on here. Braces for the side. Goes on like that if you want them on there. And then you asked me if you could have some stickers. So I'm giving you some stickers. Here's a bag full of them, probably over a hundred in there. I got a lot of stickers, so don't mind giving them away. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'll be sending this out on Tuesday and I'll send you over tracking. Alright, thanks Maxwell.